Welcome back to the channel. So it's another heavy rain day. It's just let off, but we're flooded. It's floods everywhere and makes sink in the van. So what I'm going to do is use the Omnia oven, set up on the 25, Transit 25, which is over here. You can probably see it. And I'm going with some potato wedges. I have to take some of them home, I'm not going to cook all that. And I've got some halloumi nuggets. So I'm going to put them in. Only a few. Just get something to eat for lunch because it's not going to stop raining until tomorrow morning. So let's get this lit and then I'm going to get it in. I'm not going to show you loads of stuff. Just get it in, cook it and see how it is. Flaring? What are you flaring for? Shouldn't be flaring, not in this system. That's the base of the Omnia oven. You're supposed to preheat it. I never even preheat ovens, so I'm not going to bother. This I am because it's running and it's there. Of course I'm preheating it. Let's have a look. At the make sure you're still running the halloumi nuggets Let's get that down there for the bin Let's get some nuggets out these were frozen but I've been in the van a little while and I've bought them earlier so they're not so frozen now. Right. Not going to get many things in there, am I? I need to do all of these. These are expensive. I don't want these to be no good later. Whereas the wedges, they're not that dear. I'm not going to get many in there, to be honest. I don't care. I'll have some later. I might be staying out tonight as well. If I stay out, then I've got all night to eat and tomorrow morning. It's great having an oven when you're out. We're going to ram this up and just see how much we can get, how it cooks. Hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully. But you know, if you put the more you put in, the longer it's going to take. And they're semi-frozen, they're not frozen solid. It's all about experiment now, isn't it? See what you can get away with. Still got loads in there. Go back in the cold bag. Or in the cold bag, because it wasn't in there to start with. Right, let's get him on. Get him on. Get a lid on. I'm not really going to be fussed about a temperature gauge, you know, because it doesn't seem to like ever get up. I have got a heat gun at home, a trigger one, you just point and it'll tell you what the heat of this is. And that'll probably be dead more accurate than that because that's going to tell you what that temperature at the top is. So that'll give you a proper oven temperature. All right, I'm going to leave it there for you. Obviously, I'm going to stay here and carry on. But I'll come back to it when it's cooked. There's no point in making an extra long video because you're not interested. You're going to skip it anyway. So let's just cook up because I want to eat. Okay, this is um, 30 minutes that's been running for. I haven't opened it. I've just twisted the lid to get the temperature gauge in. So what we're going to do 
is I'm probably going to have to take one piece of each out and poke it and make sure it's cooked. Let's bang that over there and put the hot lid on that. It's quite warm, but it's all right. Well, oh, I don't know, that doesn't look great, does it? Oh, that's super soft. That's a big one, look. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, they feel all right. I'm gonna leave it for a bit. Not in a rush. Well, that's her half an hour in. Gas is stayed where it is. It's not on a super hot. Temperature gauge is on, as you can see. Not super hot. I'm chilling. I'm playing my tunes, enjoying. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'll come back to it in a bit. And it's still raining, it's just come down again. It's just started to get really heavy. As you can most probably hear. So let's get back to it in a bit. Right, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I turned the camera off, I had another look and I started eating it. So <laughs> I can't do that, can I? I've got to show you. So some of these, the smaller ones, perfect. You can eat those. Yeah, so smaller ones are ready. The halloumi is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. So I'm using the mesh. If you've seen the other videos where I've done a mod on this, you'll see I've put a mesh in there and it makes everything come up to the top. You get more in volume wise and it's got air, hot air under it and above it. I've done the pizza on this one and it is an awesome modification. So anyway, we'll come back to it when I dish it up. It's only been a few minutes, but I don't see the point of trying to keep it going for one little um, wedge when the rest are cooked. So I'm gonna just take the lid off. I'm gonna pick these off with my tongs. That's the big one, I moved it. It can come out. Let's get you in a bit better. Let's just turn the gas off. And these halloumis, man. I did some of these in the oven at home and they weren't as nice as this. I probably overcooked them, to be honest. It's great when you're out and you don't have to rush and there's nothing to, you know, feel like you've got importance to do over what you're doing, which is chilling. I love it. I did think these were a bit dear, these halloumis. I think they were two pounds something for that little packet. But to be honest, they're amazing. I've got sauce to go with this. I was going to do baked beans, but I thought, no, I've got enough. There's too much here as it is. I mean, I don't need baked beans. But I'm impressed with this mesh. This is a chip mesh. I don't know if um, you've seen the other videos, but yeah, I bought it as a mesh you put on top of the, straight on the, the shelf in the oven. And it's a chip mesh to give you more heat around it. So you're going to get a quicker time to cook. I've obviously cut it with scissors to fit in there, but it's perfect. Especially when you've got pizza, that's what I made it for. And I said I tried chips, but yes, it works very, very well. I want to get some sauce on this when I've got the dish up. I've got more of these wedges. So if I feel hungry later, I can do some more. I've got other food in the van, obviously. What are we having today? We've got some barbecue here. Let's have barbecue today. So the taste test, well, it's not a taste test because I've been in there already sneaking. Mmm. Halloumi is blowing my mind. Oh, the wedges. 
They're lovely. They're lightly spiced. So it says on the packet. They're lovely. I love this oven. I'm going to do so much more with it. Now I've done my mod. And I'll tell you what. I don't even noticed it. But if you did see the video where I modded it. I've actually put the ring back in. Underneath my mesh. So you can see. The silver ring that normally sits in the bottom. I put it on top of the silver foil. And then I've put my mesh back on. To be honest. You don't even need the mesh. You can put that ring on the silver foil. And put your pizza on there. But for the chips. It's probably so it doesn't fall through. The mesh is um, really good for it. But yeah. If you used to just do pizza. You could probably just put it on the ring. And raised up. Gives you more surface area. Anyway. It's just a quick video. Because I'm stuck in the van again. And using the Omni oven. Mm. I've opened both front windows about two inches. I've got wind deflectors so the rain can't get in. And they're open just below them. So I've got a ventilation. It's only 24 degrees in there. Last time I cooked with this oven in there, I got the temperature up to nearly 30. So yeah, it's, it's good. Well, I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I've got all crap in my teeth when I'm talking. See you in the next one. Bye bye.